Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all well. So in this video I am incredibly excited to bring you my movie review of Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie which just got released today and as you can tell I am the biggest Sonic and Sega fan out there. I have watched every single episode of every single TV show starring Sonic, I have played every single game with Sonic the Hedgehog in it and pretty much every single Sega game as well. I was a massive fan of the Dreamcast but that's a conversation for another day. I have also read all of the Sonic the Hedgehog comic books as well so when I heard that they were going to be releasing a Sonic the Hedgehog movie I was just beyond excited. Obviously like everyone else I was a little bit disappointed at the first design that they released for Sonic as it did not look true to his form at all but you know they quickly heard what the fans said and really quickly remodeled it and made it a lot more truer to his video game aesthetic. I am going to be a little bit honest and say that because I am such a massive fan of Sonic the Blue Hedgehog, the Sega brand, all of that sort of stuff. I am going to be a little bit biased in this review but you know I will try to be as objective as possible but anyway enough with the intro let's get on with the review for Sonic the Hedgehog the movie. As far as the storyline goes, it's a very watered down origin movie storyline for Sonic the Hedgehog. It's not one that we've actually seen happen in the video games or in the TV shows before. Potentially it could have happened because we've never really explored how Sonic kind of came to Earth or kind of came to have his rivalry with Eggman slash Dr. Robotnik. So from that point of view, it is new territory that could slot into the previous video game franchise that everyone's kind of seen before but effectively what kind of happens is that Sonic kind of comes into our world from another dimension from another world and is introduced to the human world to earth and kind of everything is as we know it in this world and he's kind of living in seclusion living in secrecy for a number of years kind of grows up on earth kind of observing everyone some people have kind of seen him here and there but otherwise he's kind of living in secrecy one day he accidentally causes a bit of a power outage which leads to the government wanting to find out what happened, how they can prevent this happening in the future to kind of enlist the help of Dr. Robotnik and so begins the classic battle of Sonic versus Eggman slash Dr. Robotnik. Now they've also introduced new elements into the movie which is great, it's nice to kind of see them doing new things. So they've brought in James Marsden who plays Tom Wachowski and his wife who plays Maddie Wachowski and the two of them kind of bring Sonic into a bit of a normality in the Earth world, kind of bring a friendship to him and kind of allow the audience to kind of feel what it would be like for Sonic to be in the Earth world. So that's kind of nice in terms of having those characters there to kind of help bring a bit of accessibility to kind of the world, the film and the movie. Like I said before, it is a very light-hearted film. If I'm being completely honest, I do feel like it is targeted more towards non-fans, people who know a little bit about Sonic, a little bit about Robotnik, a little bit about this world, and it's a very introductory film. It's not a true fan service movie, you know, all of the classic storylines that we've seen in the video games, in the TV shows, are not being showcased on the big screen. Hopefully, if it becomes a bigger franchise, then we'll kind of see those more classic storylines, such as Sonic vs Shadow, the introduction of Silver the Hedgehog, all of those more classic Sonic the Hedgehog attributes, even such as, you know, the Chaos Emerald. So hopefully we'll see all of those packages of fan service material kind of materializing on the big screen in future installments. But yeah, as far as the storyline goes for Sonic the Hedgehog movie, it's a really nice introduction to the whole world. The cast and characters of this film are honestly absolutely brilliant. It's a very small cast of characters actually, but that's really, really good because you really, really get to kind of flesh out the characters that are in this film. So let's start with the first primary character, of course, which is Sonic the Hedgehog. And they've done something which is really clever in this film in that they've reduced his age to be a teenager. Like I said before, it's a origin movie storyline in this film and it's really nice to kind of see a younger Sonic than we've normally seen in the video games and in the TV shows. So you really get to see a confident Sonic, but a kind of growing Sonic, kind of learning, and one that's kind of learning his powers and his abilities and is kind of really endearing as a character. He's still got his kind of edginess, his confidence, his kind of happy-go-lucky attitude. So all of that sort of stuff is definitely true and remaining for his character. But it's really nice that they've kind of made him a bit younger and to kind of really understand how he got to become the character that we all know and love. Then we have Jim Carrey who does an absolutely brilliant job as Eggman and Dr. Robotnik. He is absolutely hilarious. It's really the Jim Carrey that we know from the 90s movies such as Ace Ventura, The Mask, all of those classic 
Jim Carrey movies, his character from all of those, even Dumb and Dumber as well, is kind of all fused in together to this character that we know and love, which is Eggman slash Dr. Robotnik. Similarly to Sonic, it's kind of like his origin movie storyline as well. So you do kind of understand how he becomes the character of Dr. Robotnik and where his rivalry with Sonic the Hedgehog kind of came from. So Jim Carrey, like I said, does an absolutely brilliant job as Dr. Robotnik. I was a little bit too minded and hesitant when I first heard about his casting as, you know, the voice actor for Dr. Robotnik in the video games just does such a brilliant job. And obviously Jim Carrey is a very different type of actor to the Dr. Robotnik that we've seen in the video games. So I was a little bit unsure about how his style would be adapted to this character, but he totally squashed any reservations that I had about his potential portrayal of this character because he just does it so brilliantly. James Marsden, like I said before, plays a new character, Tom Wachowski, who is a police officer in a very small town called Green Hills, which is obviously a nod to Green Hill, the main level and zone that we know from the Sonic the Video Game franchise. So it's a really nice nod that they did over there. But anyway, James Marsden plays Tom Wachowski, who, like I said before, kind of brings the normality, the humanity, and kind of the accessibility for the audience to Sonic into our world. So he plays a really cool character. He's kind of very playful, very innocent, very endearing. He befriends Sonic and protects him from Dr. Eggman slash Dr. Robotnik. I would have liked to see a bit more tension between all of these different characters. It is a little bit playing it safe. I would have liked them to kind of up the stakes, up the ante a little bit, but hopefully they'll do this in future installments. But overall, like I said before, the characters and actors in this film are great. The visuals for this movie look absolutely brilliant. Sonic looks exactly the way that he should do on the big screen, really true to his video game aesthetic. So I'm super glad that they did do the redesign because the first version of Sonic the Hedgehog honestly looked absolutely horrendous. So I'm really glad that they did that because he's really endearing, his emotions are great, his kind of expressions are great, his attitude is great, and it really does come to life through his brilliant new redesign. The powers look great, the battle sequences look really good, the world looks really, really great as well. So, you know, from the visuals point of view, it does do a really good job for this watered down origin movie storyline. I would have liked to have seen a bit more from the visual department, if I'm being completely honest, because, you know, the video games are so rich in high quality visuals, but the movie does do a really brilliant sequence whereby you do go through some of the zones in the video games. So when they go through the different potential worlds through Sonic's transportation ring, those sequences look absolutely incredible and it's a really nice nod to all of the video game moments that fans are truly aware of. So overall, from a visuals point of view, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more, but what you do get does look absolutely great. In terms of comparisons, it's really difficult to do comparison because Sonic the Hedgehog movie is really its own thing. It's trying to do its own thing, which like I said before, I'm really glad that it's doing its own thing because for example, with The Lion King, when they did the live action version of that, it was pretty much identical to the original cartoon movie. So, you know, I'm really glad that Sonic the Hedgehog the movie is trying to do its own thing, which is really, really good. But because of those reasons, it's hard to compare it to the video game because it is so, so different. Out of the two, I do prefer the video game because I feel like there's a lot more going on, there's a lot more characters and all of that kind of stuff. So hopefully we'll get all of that video game goodness into the movie very, very soon. In terms of comparing it to other video game adaptations, I did prefer Detective Pikachu because I felt like that movie really did kind of blow you into this whole Pokemon world and what would happen with true Pokemon and human kind of interaction and taking advantage of that and all of that kind of stuff. But that said, it is a hell of a lot better than any Mario video game adaptation. So from that point of view, Sonic is well in advance to its classic rival Mario. Overall, as a Sega and Sonic the Hedgehog super fan, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie for what it is, which is a light-hearted and watered-down origin movie storyline. It is a little bit predictable in some moments, but it is a very light-hearted, very easy watch, very enjoyable watch. So if you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend watching it. I hope that this turns into a massive Sonic the Hedgehog movie franchise where we can really bring in the classic characters, get to know these characters a lot more, and just turn it into a really, really cool movie franchise world. But yeah, as far as Sonic the Hedgehog the movie goes, I would advise seeing it, and for all of those reasons, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. I'd love to hear what you think, so please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.